Here is my review of the Insignia case for the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, this is uh, available at Best Buy. And this is how it comes in the packaging. It doesn't come sealed. There are no films that come protecting the case. Unfortunately, uh, most every one of these cases I've seen in the store might have some blemish or imperfection on them, like mine has something right over there. You can you can't really see it on the camera. But um, this is a clear TPU case for the iPhone 6 Plus. It adds an absolute minimum amount of bulk to the phone. It's pretty much on par with the leather case by Apple in terms of size and bulk. Here's a quick comparison and if you want to see my full uh, review of the um, Apple case you can check that out. It uh, should be before this video. It's um, pretty similar size overall to it and smaller than some other TPU style cases that I've tried. All the <clears throat> So um, Here's my Apple iPhone 6. Let me uh, put it in the case so you can see the fit. And uh, first thing you'll notice relative to the Apple case is this gives you more protection stretching around the bottom of the device. It, it's a full wrap around and it has a cutout for the lightning port, for the speaker port, for the headphone jack and microphone. Um, you have a lay on the table design, although it's fairly minimal, although maybe the tiniest bit better than the Apple case, but it's pretty much the same. Um, you have a cutout, which gives me adequate space space for the volume rocker, for the mute switch, I mean. And, you ha and it covers the up and down volume rockers and the power switch, although... Um, I do have a tactile feel of the um, button, although it still could be a little bit better. It's not too bad it, <clears throat> a feel, um, although it is noticeably harder to press, especially this power button, uh, through this rubber case. I don't know if that would improve more so through time, but it is noticeably more difficult to use the power button through this case than bare or through the leather case. Um, it doesn't feel as bad using the volume buttons, but they're a little bit larger. And you also you get better leverage using this with your thumb than your finger here. Um, so the cutouts are absolutely perfect in shape. Over here, it absolutely perfect, adequate space. Although this might be a little bit of a tight fit for some headphone jacks, depending on how big the jack is. Um, you, I find that I have adequate room for the mute switch. It is good. It is not too deep. It is easily accessible. <clears throat> you have uh, good protection for the camera, which protrudes. So, with the case on. As you see, you cannot see the camera. And with this clear design, you can see the show off to everybody that you do have an iPhone and praise to the world. Hey, I've got an iPhone. You can see the nice design. That's one of the attractions to these clear cases is to show um, so that you don't conceal the all the effort that went into the design of the phone. Although I wish that Apple did not have a protruding camera here, although the case does completely compensate for that. So you don't have to worry about the sapphire glass shattering if you had a backward facing impact. Uh, sapphire may be scratch resistant, just like diamond, but these things are not shatterproof. So that is a very, very big plus having that there. And, of course, the very minimalistic lay on the table design, although you might run into trouble if you drop this on an, a very uneven surface or a surface that has pebbles. <clears throat> you could run into trouble there. Um, also, the minimalist design in terms of adding the least amount of bulk possible 
also comes at the sacrifice of luster ability in a drop because um, some other TPU cases I've seen, a lot called air cushion and other stuff, they have extra thickness on the sides, a little bit of extra thickness up on top and bottom. Um, but what that does for you is if you drop it, the case will li literally bounce a bit. You'll have more protection in a drop. Although, I would rather have the slimness, and I'm generally very careful not to drop my devices. So I'm not too worried about it. Although I might want to get a more durable case that's better for drops in the event that I might be going in a situation that's more at risk. And um, the sides, uh, some people commented like on uh, the in in speech in case that these uh, side lips are not as tight as they could be and when they press it in uh, it's well it, it gives but these on this insignia case it fits absolutely perfectly it's tight it's snug against the sides and no problem at all um, and my only real gripe my main gripe about this case is that bubble that you see by the Apple logo no matter what you do you're always going to have a little bit of a little off-color bubble by where you see the Apple logo. Um, I think um, the speech in case might be a little bit better for that because I hear that it is a combination of a clear plastic back and a TPU material for the side versus it being a TPU material throughout the entire case. Um, <clears throat> this case does add more grippiness than you have as a bare phone. Although the back of the case does feel a little bit more slippery, it's certainly a lot more slippery than um, the Apple case, the leather case. And um, you don't have a perfectly smooth side here. You can feel a little bit of a rib at, from the, I guess, the molding process. That is uh, when they create these cases. You see that line running down the side of the case. You can kind of feel that. It's a wee bit rough, although I'm sure over time it might soften up a bit as you're handling it more. It's really not such a big deal or a bother, but it's something that you can feel a bit. Um, I know that there are some cases, clear cases, that aren't, that don't have a rib like this, that are more smooth. So that's another thing to consider. Um, this is not... <coughs> excuse me. Not very tacky. It's easy to get in and out of a pocket, which I'll show you right now. So, my jeans pocket. In nice and easy. No problem. Out in the hand. So, and also, uh, as an FYI to anybody considering this phone is you do not have to worry about bending. I've been using this for two weeks now. This phone, storing it in my front pocket in various pants that are some of which are fairly snug, doing various activities including motorcycle riding, driving, dancing, and so forth. And this phone is laser straight. You will absolutely not bend your uh, phone by virtue of it being in your front pocket. There are not enough stresses possible that could cause it to bend just by virtue of it being in the pocket alone without some sort of outside force exerting pressure on it. For example, if you had it in your pocket and let's say you're playing pool and you have it in your pocket and let's say you're leaning against the table and, and like really hard, maybe you'd cause a very slight indentation in the device possibly depending on how much you lever against something like that. But I would say that uh, common sense would prevent most people from leaving their phone in their pocket, their front pockets while they're doing something like playing pool or in a, in a situation where they would leaning be leaning their pants against a hard surface, which would put pressure against any device in their pocket. So uh, would not worry about bending at all, again, for your phone. So that's fine, and I like this case a lot overall. Yeah, a little bit iffy about the uh, that little bubble there. It's not the worst thing in the world. This case was only fifteen dollars at Best Buy, and uh, and an alternative 
to this would be uh, the Speedgen case, which is $12 on Amazon. So, uh, anyway, that's about it. I hope you enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe.